the next 50 days on the campaign trail. Jonathan Young. Thank you very much, sir, for the opportunity to speak. And can I uh, not only just uh, congratulate Jacinda Ardern, but can I just also acknowledge Andrew Little, who for the last two uh, campaigns contested very strongly against me. And uh, I've noticed very few uh, comments about him from the other side, and I think that's not a good thing. If I was a gullible New Zealander, listening to the relentless negativity coming from the opposition benches, you would nearly think Statistics New Zealand were on their own brand of happy pills. Because a week ago they said, most New Zealanders say they are highly comfortable with their lives. These are the people who are statisticians, gatherers of data. They are the gurus of granular information. These are the people who sit behind computers and analyse such detail to present to us mega trends and this is what they say yes you can go down deeper into the report and get more precise breakdowns of the information but they say around 83 percent rated their overall life satisfaction seven or above on a zero to ten scale and they said the result was similar in 2014. isn't that amazing you wouldn't believe that if you listened to these people. All you would hear from the opposition is doom and gloom. All you hear is heartache and heartbreak. And look, we know there are people who we need to reach out, and I b believe Minister Ann Tolley attributed comments toward them, and that is the purpose of government, to actually lift up those who need lifting up, and we desire to help and deliver for all New Zealanders. Now, I come from one of the most positive places in New Zealand. That is the great city of New Plymouth and the wonderful region and province of Taranaki. We make our own luck there, even though we are said by uh, the ASB uh, regional report to be the lowest uh, in terms of uh, regional growth because of the, uh, the drop in oil uh, price, the drop in dairy price. Yet you go to our place and, as you know, uh, Barbara Kuriga, you know the vibe that's in Taranaki. There are positive people, relentlessly positive people come from Taranaki. And, uh, sir, we also have the highest GDP per capita still in that place. But if you went around the town and you asked them, do you have enough money, probably a lot, a lot of people would say, well, I could always do with a bit more. Statistics New Zealand said this. Back in 2008, 13% felt they had more than enough money to meet their everyday needs. Today, that figure has grown to 18%. But this is very interesting. Back in 2008, 15.4% said they did not have enough money in 2016. That figure has shrunk to 10.9%. And Stats New Zealand said, generally, New Zealanders think their financial well-being has improved. This is not a party political broadcast. This has not come from the government. This has not come from National Party headquarters. This has come from Statistics New Zealand a week and a half ago. They went through uh, their general social survey of 9,000 participants, and this is what they say about New Zealand's fare at the moment. So after coming through a global financial crisis and the $18 billion cost of the Canterbury earthquakes, New Zealanders are having a growing sense of optimism about their futures. And this doesn't just happen. It's like turning a great ocean liner around. It takes time to turn an economy. When we became government in 2008, the Treasury said we had before us a decade of deficits. But instead, today, we are the envy of the world. We are first in prosperity. We are first in ease of doing business. We are first equal in anti-corruption. We are second in terms of quality of government. And we're even top of the international list of places to retire to. Isn't that fantastic, Minister Barry? And we have also, during this period of time when we have seen uh, incomes increase, we have reached out to those on lower incomes. We've increased the accommodation supplement as part of our $2 billion families package. package. We have list, lifted the incomes of beneficiaries by $25 a week last year, the first real increase in more than 40 years. And listen to this, New Zealand's super rate for married couples has gone up 37% since 2008, the single rate up by 36%.
or by $104, we are looking after New Zealand. We are delivering for all New Zealanders. Thank you, sir. Oh, Mr. Ducey. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Well, Mr. Speaker, what a week. Everyone.